Today I'm going to flush the um, coolant from my <clears throat> 2007.3 liter power stroke diesel and uh, I have some instructions that I'm going to follow. I'm going to show you those in just a little bit but uh, I'm going to get that done and show you what I did. Um, so let's get started on that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to drain three quarter inch nut right there. I'm going to drain uh, start the drain from this spot. I uh, will do that. Let's take off the degas reservoir top there. I'm putting a new one of these on as well because I suspect this one's cracked. As you can see this draining will make your way under the driver's side of the truck. You'll see next to the oil filter this plug right there it'll fit a quarter inch drive that is not the plug you want to be removing you want to be removing that plug right there so this nut is up in you can see it up in there where it's dripping so make sure you can get that one out see that plug right there that's the one I'm going after you don't have to remove the starter um, as you can see I'm going above the start of my hand you can get to it you want a short stubby bolt here move that take this out as well because there's a couple of I want to be changing look at this hose here so this nuts gonna come off two more nuts down here that I'll show you in just a moment it's gonna come off uh, eight millimeter, I believe. I'm gonna take this bracket off, and then we're gonna be able to take this off and remove the hose. Remove this clamp here. Sometimes you can just push back on that. Leave that. There's going to be some fluid still left in this hose that I'm about to take off. I'm going to remove these bolts. Here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a, another clamp I need to remove for a hose up under here. There's going to be a couple of tanner clips you have to remove here. Give me one. You have to remove there to get this piece, that bolt. And there's two more bolts here and one bolt there <clears throat> that you want to remove. So we got this one, got that one loose, and this bracket here should just slip right out. So the bottom of this reservoir sit down and that hose went right there on the bottom of the reservoir <clears throat> a little tricky to get to but not but not bad um, just wiggle it, it cut it came free free pretty easy but um, but that's the hose and there's a lot of fluid still left down in that hose and I'll remove that here in just a little bit next I'm going to remove this bottom radiator hose which goes up to the water pump as you'll see up there the water pump I believe you can see that. Uh, it's up there at the, yeah, the gray coming down below the harmonic balancer. I'm going to remove that hose here as well as the reservoir hose that which went up, if you remember, went up to the reservoir. We're going to remove that now. So you'll have some on the bottom radiator hose. It's going to come out from the, we'll take out later. And this is draining, like I said, we still have about four, three or four gallons of water in the system that we have not gotten out. There's a total of 8.2 gallons of water 
I think it's 31 um, liters that it calls for, but uh, it's 8.2 gallons. Loosen up this clamp. And we want to be taken off. this hose so I'm reaching down right there to take that loose that belt loose there then I'm going to loosen up these bolts on the thermostat housing and replace the thermostat as well be very careful that nut in the back I got lucky I about rounded it off but there's three nuts one there one there and one at the back, eight millimeters. We'll take this off and then we'll replace our thermostat. Once you get those three nuts off, you just pull this here off here. I'm gonna replace this right here because this had it. And then our thermostat is right here. Took a little screwdriver and I pried it. I want to take that out very carefully not to get anything down into the housing where the third set and that is aluminum so you want to be careful when you put your bolts back in and torque them to specifications something about right there oriented that'd be much easier to get to put it back down in there so there this holds for here so we'll scrape this right here Now we're gonna put our um I'm gonna bolt this on later. Go ahead and drop my thermostat in along with the new gasket, new seal. It fits in a recessed thing. Make sure you get that in there good. A new housing. No uh permatex needed here. I'll Put all three of these in. Cut real far with a ratchet. I'll finish up this back one because you can't get the head of that ratchet in there. We'll snug all this down and get the rest of it on. He'll fit like that. That feels pretty good. So now we're going to get this bracket. Screw there. Screw there. I'm gonna get this one, remember. That should have popped off already. Get the one there. And this guy here will ride up there. Snug that down. You can see that. I'm going to over tighten that. Yeah, I like that. I got our hose on, got them tight, got the bottom hose on and got it tight, got the bottom reservoir hose on, got it tight, got the, um, the uh, overflow as well as. Uh, the overflow hose on and got it tight. I'm going to put the serpentine butt on here in just a few minutes and then we're going to start putting some fluid in it. I'm going to put in all distilled water and fill it up. Run it through. Get to operating temperature. This is our thing green. So we're going to start our drain again. And I'm fixing to go back and to the engine blocks. Make sure these are 
those are good and snug so now I'm going to drain the radiator for the last time so I'll drain all this and you can see it's already it's getting pretty much everything out of it I'm gonna drain it the last time and then uh, once I drain this we're going to put in four gallons uh, because remember it holds 8.2 we're going to put in four gallons of concentrated antifreeze ELC uh, rated for this 7.3 power stroke diesel for this year and we're going to add four gallons of uh, distilled water to make the 50 50 mix so the good times roll whoa baby so we're going to add our four gallons of rotella elc extended life check your manual for what yours uses you can put an additive an SCA. We're going to put in four gallons of concentrated antifreeze. Crank the engine. And then uh, once everything pulls down, cut the heater on high. Once everything cools down, we're going to fill it up with four more gallons of distilled water to make it a 50 50 mix. So we let it get up to operating temperature and then I, I drove it around a good bit and you'll have air sometimes that'll get trapped in the system and I just let off the cap here and let it come back up, let some more air out, close it back off, let some more air out and once you get the air out of the system you'll start to feel the heater get real hot and then you'll keep your radiator at the full level. This is maximum fill at cold. Uh, range here um, I'm gonna check it again tomorrow I'm gonna drive it some more and then we'll keep checking it because I think it's gonna take a day or two of driving to really get in all the cavities throughout this engine uh, but anyway that's um, I hope this video helped I know it's kind of a <laughs> scatterbrained approach but uh, anyway um, if you have any questions give me a call um, or shoot me an email but uh, yeah just uh, hit me up and I'll see what I can do for you. Anyway, just try to uh, stay strong and uh, you can do it. So, see you later.